Now for the last week, we have talked about the deadly mass shooting in South Baltimore's Brooklyn neighborhood. Two people died, 28 others are now recovering from gunshot wounds. And many agree that there needs to be change, but what can our leaders do? Well, tonight, a chance for that part of the city to hear directly from those representing them. All right, let's go to WMAR 2's Jack Watson was there and he joins us right now. Jack, tell us. Well, Jamie, I'm told this town hall was actually planned well in advance. Organizers plan to talk about a whole host of issues, but the mass shooting took place in South Baltimore nine days ago, and it was on the minds of many. Felicia Porter represents a South Baltimore district in mourning. Porter and other leaders appear publicly Monday night, sitting in front of their constituents at the front of Douglas Memorial Church. We're talking about housing stabilization, making sure that we pass the, you know, great housing bill so that everyone um, can, can actually get housing in Baltimore City and stay in Baltimore City um, so they can be safe, making sure that we have recreational centers that are fully staffed and fully resourced. Members of Baltimore City Council talk about their districts to their districts touching on topics from police redistricting to police response to budgeting to a tragic 30 victim mass shooting. This is an opportunity for us to make sure that they had the expanded necessary resources, mental health services and, and trauma related services. The hurt in Porter's community is still fresh in their minds. Gunfire erupted at a Brooklyn Homes block party two weekends ago, killing two people and hurting 28 more. What we've tried to do is to make sure that our congregations are informed. Dr. Todd Yeary is the senior pastor at this church in Marble Hill. He moderated the town hall, one in a series for the whole city from Act Now Baltimore, a group of religious leaders trying to connect leaders to the people they represent. This one just happened to come on the heels of an historic tragedy in South Baltimore. It is on the minds of folks because it, it, the, the incident is really uh, reflective of a number of concerns that the city has been facing for a while. We don't want to kind of encapsulate it as it is the, the only thing, but it is symptomatic of some other things. The spotlight has been on their part of the city for all the wrong reasons. To remove it, Porter says they must plan decades ahead. We're talking about really changing the narrative of what South Baltimore has been for so long, but also, also what South Baltimore is going in the future. We are expecting a Baltimore City Council hearing on the mass shooting this Thursday. Meantime, one teen is in custody in connection with the shooting, but the case is far from closed. That teen was not accused of homicide, but of weapons charges, Jamie.